<laughs> oh, uh, come on! I mean, ju there's just like few millimeters where it actually works. Or the wind is just right. I don't know what's going on, but I got at least one message and this is like, I don't know, more than 23, 4, 5 kilometers. Insane. What if I tell you that this device talks with another device that's about 17 kilometers away? In a previous video, I was playing a bit with some LoRa modules to go and make a communication on around 8 kilometers. And now, React sent some new toys that I'm playing with that will go even further. But before we go into any details about the module, let me tell you about today's sponsor, which is Altium 365. Altium 365 is a cloud-based platform that offers a variety of tools for electronic design, collaboration, and project management. It comes as part of your Altium Designer subscription, and with it, you can view, simulate, and test your electronic projects from anywhere using just a web browser. The platform offers collaboration tool for teams, but it also has very valuable features for individual designers like me, which include version control, secure access to design files, and the ability to publicly share PCB designs and schematics that I design for my audience. You can use Altium 365 to start development on your project directly with version control, and never worry about having a secure backup of your work. Visit the link in the video description to get a free trial of Altium Designer with Altium 365 and get a 25% discount coupon of any subscription. And here is the module, it's the Reax YLR993. And it doesn't come with much larger footprint than the 998 that we saw before so it's really compact really small and it comes with the connector for an external antenna that I have here connected on the board what's interesting about the module is that not only that it supports the lower proprietary mode where you connect it directly to other modules in the network this one also supports the LoRa one and also the helium networks so it can be connected to the internet using one of those two. Same as before, it is interfaced via UART, so you have the standard VCC reset, RX takes, and ground connections on the board, uh, as with the other modules, and you have few LEDs indicating the connection status and the communication with the microcontroller. So this one is the light version, and the pro version is just this chip that you integrate within your design and your final product so it can be customized in basically any way that you want. For the purposes of this demonstration we have three devices, two of which are the same as before in the previous video where we got up to more than eight kilometers. Between the, uh, the two they're using the 998 modules and now we have an addition with the 993 module that we'll test with. The one on the green breadboards is the central hub. So when I send a message from here by pressing the flash button, that message is received by this device and a reply will be sent back. And the same goes with the third one. So this one is communicating with a different module, but it's still, it uses the same protocol. So there is no problem in that. When I send a message, from this one to that one, then I also get the reply so I can know that this board received what I have sent. Now, with that being said, all of the code will be available down in the description so you can go and check it out. Now, let's go out and test these devices. And before we go out, I wanted to once again test everything out and show you how it works. So we have the base station here indicated by the constant glowing of the onboard LED. And that one is ready to be receiving messages from these two devices. I'll have, I have this one connected to the phone with a terminal app so you can see the serial communication that happens. And if I press the button here, we'll see this is the AT command that we are sending. And that board received it and replied back that was indicated by the LED that turned on and we can see this is the message that we received. So we sent hello from Dev3. This is Dev3. And this one replied that the message we received was hello from Dev3. If I press this one here, 
So the same will happen. We will send a message to here, a reply back. Here is the LED. And uh, that's how we know that we have communication. I'll have this one connected to another phone as well. So we can see the serial communication and let's see how far we can reach. Okay, so let's do a control check. I'm here out in my car, which is on a distance of about, I don't know, I would say about a kilometer. I'll have the exact distances here. And for control, I'll have the 998 module first on the phone. My son's phone, which is also helping out. So again, we do the same thing, pressing on the button. That should send the message and we get the reply back from the station that is placed currently on my balcony. And I have the 993 module here as well. Let's see if it will communicate. I don't see a reason why it won't, but yes, we sent. This one was DEF3 as you can see here. And we got the reply that the central station received the message and replied back. So at about one kilometer, we have communications with both the modules. So now we'll go further and we'll see how far we'll get. Okay, so second checkpoint. And here are the two devices. Let's try with the first one. Message sent. No reply. We're still within the car. This is like at least three or four kilometers. Let's see the 993. If it does any better. If not, then we'll go outside of the car. Message sent. No reply. Okay, that's a bit of a weird result. Let's go outside and check. Let's try one more time. Country and a reply is received. Let's try this one uh, again. Okay, so there was no reply there. Now let's try again. And still no reply. So we're getting better reception with the antenna and that's probably expected. Now let's go outside. Okay, so let's try now being outside of the car. I have my son helping. Let's press and we get we got the reply. I don't know how much you can see it here. I'll try to hide it from the reflection. And being outside of the car, we get the reception on the 998 module. And this is my daughter who, who's also helping being outside with the 993 module. We get the response, no issues. So we're a bit outside now of the city and the receiver is up there on the on that hill on the start of that hill we'll go further down this direction and see how far we can get okay so the one that see the previous video are probably recognizing this place this is the furthest that we got just testing the 998 module and let's try once again, I'm gonna press it and raise it up a bit. So we send the message and we get reply back. This is about 8.2 kilometers. So this was the record that we had on the previous attempt. Now, let me turn on this. I'll try the same with the 993 module and that works as well so we know that we at least have 8.2 kilometers of distance being out on the road and i'll compare the scene here so that the receiver is somewhere up there on the beginning of that hill now we'll go further down and see how far we can get okay so we are now right in front of the power plant and the receiver module is somewhere there on that hill i'll start with the 998 let's press it <laughs> and we are still receiving signal oh my god 
I don't I don't even doubt that the 993 will will receive signal as well. Oh my god. This is like I don't know the exact number but it's like 7 to 8 kilometers and we're still having a signal. This is insane. Okay, so this probably is a long shot. We are way past the power station and the receiver is somewhere close to that hill so it's like way 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 back um let's try the 998 first okay there is no response and even i tried the 993 while we will while we were coming but you can see that there were some errors and we didn't we weren't able to get the communication back because we might be out of line of sight but we'll go outside of the car and let's try from the car with the 993 no 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 reply let's see if it's any different if we go outside i don't know how much you can hear because there is a strong wind where we are now let's try the 998 no no reply let's try one more time no reply either so let's try the 993 oh my god let's try that one more time oh my god that this works this really works this really works way up there. It must be something like, I don't know, 17 kilometers. Oh my God. This is really difficult to be filmed at, but I have the devices on my car uh, hood. And this is the 993 device. Let's try. and no problems at all oh my god and you know what's even more crazy that this device can also talk if i raise it up a bit slightly <laughs> now it doesn't work and there you have it i'm not sure if you can see it there's the device and there's the message that we got as a reply from over 17 18 kilometers i don't know exactly how much these devices are crazy having made a communication with these modules on 16 kilometers I was really surprised with the response that I was getting that they were being able to communicate with no issues so I wanted to go further down and see what the limit of these modules are and the furthest point where I had the direct line of sight was at around 20 kilometers so I went there and this happened. Come on, come on! I mean, j there's just like few mil millimeters where it actually works. Or the wind is just right. I don't know what's going on, but I got at least one message. And this is like, I don't know, more than 23, 4, 5 kilometers. Insane. Even though that was just a slight success, 
I'm really pleased and happy with the communication and I'm pretty confident that for any projects that I do with these modules I can cover basically the entire flat area that's next to my town which is great and it's really awesome for some agricultural projects where we can track equipment and monitor sensors on different areas so if you have any ideas about a project like that be sure to let me know down in comments. I spent about half an hour at the location trying to hound down a place where I would get the reliable communication but I was only getting an occasional message here and there but still that's a really huge success even though there was not a direct line of sight because of the hill that's uh, that was blocking the way. Still that proves that th there is really high potential in these modules and I already have some ideas where we can use it in actual products in the future. And with that, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, then hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more interesting projects. And before you go, make sure to also check out this other video where together with my friend Slavko, we'll, we did a dog tracker.